Hi guys, welcome to Free to Be Fit Metabolic Trigger Response Workout number two in my attempt, well not attempt, we are getting ready for the bikini competition in spring and if you want to know why I'm taking so long, so it will be about nine months, is that I cannot take any of the supplements and I have an active elbow injury and a knee injury, so elbow tendonitis and ongoing knee injury where if um, I'm not working my muscles equally, it flares up and it's really it's really painful. It's an old snowboarding injury. I have no practically no cartridge, she was crushed. So today workout number two, and if you want to know more detail, you can go ahead and click over here and prepare for the maybe you're going on vacation or you would finally like to be turning 30 or 40 and you would like to be in the best shape of your life. This is it. I'm not using any um, supplements at all so I can recommend to something that I used to use um, what worked for me and um, my problem is I my, my stomach my liver can't process any of the stuff anymore I used to take protein shakes and they're wonderful out there it just might be that my body is not processing so anything on my side going forward will be only whole foods I did use in my some of my past recipes do have protein part in um, BC supplementation recommendation and there's nothing wrong with it it's just I can't use it anymore so for me balance, nutrient balance will be of our most important and timing on when I eat and all the micro micronutrient breakdown will be really important but I'm really interested in the journey because if you think about it years ago um, people will still be able to get in great shape without all the supplements and again there's nothing wrong with it I just think yes it will be harder but I don't have a choice and I'm up for the challenge so MTRW2 the first month will be on building endurance because I've been pretty much out of commission for um, high intensity resistance training for nine months and um, I need to make sure that I don't injure myself going forward and of course I want to keep rehabbing my elbow and the knee Today's workout is um, 12 rounds, three exercises. Well, it's four. It's three exercises, four rounds, two minutes work, 30 second rest. But you want to set up your gym boss timer for 12 minutes, for 12 rounds, 12 double rounds, and um, you will need a will and a stability ball. Um, I will give you options if you don't have a will and stability ball. If you don't have a will and you are have hardwood floors, put your socks on. If you have um, carpet, just maybe a plastic plate or a towel so you can your feet can glide and that's it. If you don't have a stability ball, you can always do the back extension on the floor. It's just um, don't get frustrated if you don't come off the floor that much because if you really think about the back extension, your back can't go really far back because of just anatomical positioning. But you want to make sure that your feet will stay rooted to the floor and parallel and together and your hips anchored. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first exercise breakdown. So this is an exercise breakdown portion. Um, if you're just joining us, I'm using a 2x4. Most of us are not able to, I'm sure there are wonderful people there who can do everything I can't. Um, I have really limited range of motion in my ankles. So when I squat, I am. that's when my knee comes in because my functional movement is um, distorted because I don't have enough flexibility. So while I'm working on my flexibility and getting uh, my ankle to stretch, I still want to be able to work my glutes and my legs and I, that's why I'm using 2x4 is to give me that extra flexibility that I don't have while still being able to do squats and not feel the pain in my knees. The first exercise will be the curtsy squat. The way the curtsy squat wo works is your feet are about shoulder width apart and I'm too close. And now I understand why people in the movies are usually short because when I want to come closer, I take up the whole screen in the camera and you guys can't use it. When I'm too far apart, you might not be able to see what I'm doing. Hopefully you will. So place your feet shoulder width apart, maybe slightly narrow, it's more like hip width apart. From here, while still on the, on the board, you will curtsy squat back so your knee comes right behind your ankle. Come up. The front of the knee is pointing forward, so this will be a much slower exercise than you would normally do because 
I have a 2x4. To make this harder, I'm doing this with my 20 pound vest. So you will do this for two minutes. Make sure that your upper body is staying straight up so you're not hinging forward. So this versus this. You really want to engage the glute, the whole leg is active, toes is tracking with the knees. Lower abs engaged. Exercise number two will be stability ball back extension. What you want to do is come to the wall, put your feet flat against the wall, bring the ball as close to you as possible so you have to widen the knees. From here, shift your weight forward so your pelvis is on the ball and the lower abs. Several options. You can bring the feet closer up or you can have the metatarsals in that area where the wall meets the floor. This is, gives you a little bit more stability. You'll extend it back, come forward, back, and come forward. Option number two, you can have weights. So you come out and come in, come out and come in. Or you can put the resistant bands underneath. You can put your hand forward. Putting your, here's a different thing. When you put, extend your hands out, especially with the weight, you're creating a very heavy, leather, long leather lever for your back. So if you're somebody who has maybe not a strong core or is predisposed to having back pain, I would avoid anything with a long lever. So if you do want to get it more challenging, what you'll do is you'll grab the weight, press, put it here, bring it towards your chest and do it this way. We don't want to arch, so I'm not arching like this. We're creating a parallel. This will, this will jam your lower back and you can do some serious damage to your, um, to your back. So from here, your glutes are active, glutes are rock hard. It's a slight extension in the upper back, so in your chest you're extending, coming up. If you are feeling pain at any time, release the weight, don't come up as high really make your legs work as well. Um, usually, lower back pain is, um, shows you that you have weak core and a weak back, uh, lower back. And yeah, it seems um, obvious, but a lot of times we think if we have a little bit weak lower back, also if, you have, if you're trying to work your glutes and they're not responding, a lot of times it's also weak lower back and a not so strong core. Let me put this out of the way. Last exercise is the hand walk. What you want to do is, I won't be able to show it too well, but I'm going to see what I can do. You'll strap your feet into the wheel. So you got, that's why you got 30 seconds. If you're looking to see where to find this, please go ahead to sfe.com, today's post, and um, I was trying to find ways to, to make it where shipping is free, to find the sides, or maybe sometimes you get a discount, so make sure they're pretty tight. Flip them around, and what you're going to do is, let me see how can I do this, I think this will work. Extend your legs out just like in the plank. What you can do is walk. Walk on your hands. But make sure that when you're walking, I'm moving too much around. When you're walking, that your legs are as stable as possible. So engage your core. Remember that elevated feeling. Shoulder blades back and down. Everything is really tight, feet flex. And from here, let's go for walk. And coming back, I don't know if you can see me. So, this is it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Free to Be Fit. Also, we have 90 Day Pile Yoga Challenge that's going along with this workout. And of course, Pop Nutrition, especially since you know 
you can work out all you want, but if your nutrition is not up to par, no six pack abs, not gonna show them plus, you need to power your workouts. Until next time, free to be fit.